Trump on his plane to St. Louis. This photo, a tableau of a campaign in crisis. Next to Trump, party head Reince Priebus, devastated and very frank about the fallout now facing the GOP nominee, according to sources close to Priebus, after this 2005 audio surfaced from Access Hollywood, a program owned by NBC Universal. I don't need to wait. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab them by the foot. Priebus canceling public appearances, raising questions about how long the RNC will support its nominee. Instead, it's Rudy Giuliani, just over Trump's shoulder here, who's had his back publicly in a series of combative interviews today. You're saying that the words are wrong. How about the actions? Well, the actions would be even worse if they were actions. See, talk and actions are two different things. What Trump is describing in that tape is sexual assault. Uh, that's what he's talking about. The one behind the camera, campaign manager Kellyanne Conway. In another picture, all smiles, batting down reports she's considering quitting, texting NBC News, what a crock. Mike Pence on the phone with Trump here at a football game today and attending church, telling Trump he's praying for him, according to sources who spoke with the Indiana governor, making it clear he wants genuine contrition from his running mate tonight. Other Republicans echoing that as they consider whether to withdraw their support. I don't think Bill Clinton is his solution. Going up to Bill Clinton doesn't solve his problem. That's the past. People want him to talk about the future and deal with what's happening in the present. And that starts with, again, being humble and apologetic. Trump dropping new hints on Twitter. He'll hit Bill Clinton's past indiscretions with millions of Americans watching tonight, including this voter painting his own bleak picture of 2016. All I can say is that this is going to be the saddest election in United States history. We can either vote for a liar or we can vote for a dirty grandpa that can't keep his mouth shut. And while it's still a question of whether and how Trump will go after Bill Clinton, I'm told by a senior advisor he absolutely will bring up leaked emails which suggest Hillary Clinton uh, essentially privately expressed support for open borders. It's something the Clinton campaign has not commented on directly. Instead, pivoting to pin blame on Russia for the hack. The other certainty tonight, Kate, the immense pressure Trump faces just hours from now. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.